All right, guys, we're out here. I'm gonna go do a thing. It's called, uh, what's this called? Ice fishing, I ice, think? Ice fishing. I think we're going ice fishing. But uh, this is a sled, if you didn't know that. That's my truck. I'm gonna just ignore the license plate. But um, yeah, we're gonna head out there right now and we'll see you out on the lake. So now we gotta set up the house. It's really windy out. It's really cold too. Like 40? No, normally this is a lot easier with two people, but thanks to you guys, we have to do this with one. And obviously, it would be a lot easier at not being blowing 40 miles an hour, but we're, out here. we're working with our circumstances, I guess you could say. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> We'll get back to you. Wait, wait, wait. All right, explain how to use the auger. All right, so this here is your generic stripe master. master auger. Right here, you got a kill switch. See, it says off and on. You're gonna want to turn into the on position because we want it to turn on, right? All right, your choke is right here. When it's cold, you're gonna want to turn it all the way until it your sounds like it's your clutch. Cold. Your choke. <laughs> And once it sounds like it's gonna start, you're gonna turn that off. What's that little red bulb? This little red bulb down here. If you need to prime the fuel system, you're gonna push that. It's already primed and it's about to start, hopefully. Probably too So I'm gonna pull. get my glove back on before I freeze my hand off. We're gonna give it a pull. And there you go. One, one pull. It's low on gas, because someone didn't fill it's it up. It's not low on gas. It's full. <laughs> The thing just died. <laughs> now it's not gonna start. No, not like that. Just, it's put, not the, just put the choke on. I think we just killed it. It's no, not... you got the. All right, we got it started. Right, now that it's started, you're gonna hammer on the gas once it's getting wet. For demonstration purposes, correct. All right, there we go. That's how you drill a hole. All right, you want to tell them what just happened? All right, so we got our house set up. Yeah, I'll go do the outside view quick. It's real, it's real windy still. I just got this new house for Christmas. I love it. But uh, how long did that take us, Matt? I would say half hour at least. Uh, it probably wouldn't take you as much time if it wasn't so windy, but it blew away on us a couple times like a big kite. Like so that's times. why uh, we have snow around the edges, so it doesn't do that. Yep. And you got it we, inside and outside. And we have an anchor on the wind leading side, yep. so it'll just blow it this way and it'll catch it. We got our two holes drilled. We're ready to fish. We got our got our heater rolling. Got our vexlars going. So we'll show you how to use a vexlar in a bit. But I'm gonna go get some tip up set up. Uh, I think Matt's gonna throw on the uh, GoPro. And See if we can't catch some fish. How's that sound? Sounds perfect. This is an iFish Pro tip up. I'm going to 
on a foot off bottom, and I need to get my, uh, my little green thing. Oh, it's on there. Sounds like there's a little power stop. stop. Megan? Megan. So we're gonna get to see what kind of weeds are going on. Well we're stuck on weeds that are at the bottom of the hole. Can't wait to get back in that house. And the bobbers. Just in north. Rod's gone. It's over. Alright, then you just feed the line through here. You want to grab the thing up? No. You might want to take your new out. You're just going to slam that down in the hole. And then you want to put the flag down. So, then you put this little doodad in here. I don't want to set it too tight. It's going to be horrible. And see how the wind is blowing. It's not going to blow the line off my spool. So that's good. I'm it's a positive. Which is probably going to happen. God darn it. Oh, and the reel is just so frozen. Ice fishing, oh, baby. Ice fishing. Ice fishing. Let's go. In this video, I'm going to throw the phone in the hole. All right, what are you doing here? Showing you how it's done. I'm going to DH custom rad. Maybe. I can kind of see. Now, there is one on bottom. That hurts the sucker minnow in the other hole. So what are you doing with that tip of your rod there? What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Alright, so let me give an in-depth here. So this is a 38-inch custom DH rod. We're definitely sponsored. Don't worry, we got that covered. And, hold on, show, um, it on that, hold, show it on that sleeve. Oh yeah, yep. DH. Yep, there it right is. There. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just jigging it really fast. And the, the reason I'm doing this is because the, the jig I have on 
is a, a representation of like you know a bug or something like a Euro larva in the water and these uh these bluegill and crappie that's what they eat oh buddy's gonna do it mm -hmm. but that's what they eat so i'm just trying to match the hatch of their forage dude this is such a big mark don't Come mess on. this up do not mess this up oh please happen dude this thing has been toying with us yeah it could be the sucker moon we really have no idea I don't know, maybe the sucker minnow wants a tungsten jig in his mouth. Who knows? Come on. It wants it so bad. Is that those waxies? Yeah, they are. They're waxies. I might put it on a spoon. But anyways, that's the gist of it. We'll get back to you if this fish decides to bite. Can you just keep it on? It's gonna do it. Oh, wait. Never mind, we're not going. You might... Nope, never mind. Nope. He's chickening out. Yep, he's gonna. Right here, let me show him the jig I got on. So it's literally the size of my thumbnail. Like, there's a my thumbnail and there's the jig. But all that's looking like is just a little larva, of some sort. But I've always had really good luck on that. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see the tip of this is really sensitive, so I can feel any bite and I can feel that jig when I'm jigging it. And then, um, you know, when you set the hook, this rod's got a lot of backbone in it. So what that means is like the stiff. Stiff part of the rod goes to the soft part, and it's really good for when you set the hook. That's all I got. stuck on the edge of the ice, AJ. What do we got? Shake him. What do we got? Little oh, bass. Little bass. Nice. There we go. That's a large little bass. That's awesome. A little one pounder. Yeah, you can tell this is a large one. Has not moved since then. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get that with the these more traditional type of tip ups. Not with the iFish Pro. Not with the iFish Pro, but you'll get a small deep flag and that's what usually depending on how big your minnow is, it'll kick it off. So. Alright, let's go retire. That's on the blue gill. Got him. Got it. And the deucer, get him out. Oh, he came out. Oh. That's okay, you're gonna have about a million of them down there. All those, oh, you can't see them. All those marks down there, bluegill. There we go. Matt's rod is broken. Line, line guys are freezing up, as you can probably not see. There they go. And they're gonna Here they come. It. On. Oh. On. 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 Monsters. Toads. Monster. Another bluegill. All right. As you can see, this is a bluegill. In here, they have little black dots. Why? We have no idea. Little parasites, probably. Yeah. Get them back. That's a bluegill. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes, Jimmy. And you can right. stay here all day and catch about a million of these things. How many are there? All right, yeah. All right, we got one. Set yeah. the hook. Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Whoa! -ho -ho! What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Oh, gator! Gator! Oh, we got our sucker back! 
Oh, perfectly hooked. That's what he's eating. Should we feed him? No, he doesn't oh, get it. He's burping. <laughs> that thing is alive. That he, thing is alive. It's AJ. alive. <laughs> Just swim right back alive. to the bottom. God, that bobber scared the crap out of me. Oh, whoa! Bitch. Hey! Whoa! Kill him. All right. Explain why it's a northern. Okay, the reason this is a northern, end, well, as you can see, its mouth, it's got some teeth. But you can see those little speckles on her. Back up, I can't go back any further. You can see those little speckles on her, right? And, oh, 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 oh. okay, <laughs> and at this point, and that's why you also know it's a pike, because it's, they suck. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we don't like gators. And we'll just, uh, bye-bye, bye-bye now. And now your hands are freezing. Cool. Matt, it's going. Oh. Ooh. Holy balls. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Is he? Yep. Yep. Jack. Oh, yeah. I don't like another bass. So, what are you doing with that rod? Just lifting. Oh, pike. Ooh, little gator. Yeah, we might need players for him. And that's all the way back at the house. <laughs> so, another pike, as you can see. Yeah, the dot is long, slender. Pain in the butt to handle. And they're slimy. Well, the lighting is phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's getting pretty dark out. You can't really dust. see out of the, thing, out of the window, but it's... Temps are dropping. It and is. It's, gonna be it's cold. Like negative two tonight. <laughs> but that's it. That's all we got. That's how you ice fish. Yep. You're wondering. Uh, that's 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 what you do. Kind of. Yeah. It's fun, I guess. When it's not this cold, though. Yeah. Yeah. Picking a nicer day is, is a good idea. idea. But yeah. all right. That's it. Bye.